while looking at the letter, she goes, I don't think he can do a letter. Dark brown feeling. Hmm. Uh, maybe you could make a ramp with earth bending. Oh, we could. How deep does this tunnel go? He's very good with making it's out um, the tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a, it's a, quite the system. Uh, I mean, can you, can you tell me where ish I could go straight down and enter in the tunnel? I'd rather you have used the conventional. Well, it's not really for me. It's mostly the bear. Yeah, but you can maybe you know, just just. Slowly put some earth down. Okay, I'll do that. Instead of digging into the system. Oh, I know what I could do. Maybe it's. Uh, I have. Maybe suitcase bed. Can I use fighting styles for practical reasons? Because I have a fighting style, mm -hmm. dust stepping, which I can use to make dust to get higher and to step up to a higher position. I mastered it. Can I also use it to lower something? Step down. Yeah. I would say yeah. Oh, you don't have to roll for that. Let's go damage it. You are used to. Um, yeah, I didn't last year. Um, <laughs> Not the closing part. And before part. you <laughs> go down, um, Leah turns to you. Well, um, should have. Well, don't don't be surprised by what you find. Yeah, I have a, I have a feeling. I know what we're walking <laughs> into. Down there. Do you? And has to be a smugglers network, right? You can go down first. I'll close up after us. Okay. And I grab Rio real quick and I go. You? We're gonna go see some interesting things. In uh, more than ever. Um, remember the story? The story. The story. You were kidnapped as a kid. When you say any dumb Fire Nation things, this is your excuse. Do you still have the torch? Yeah, I do have the torch. No bending in <laughs> any capacity. Okay, so I go with you in the dark, scary hole. We can the take the bear. torch. Yes. And the torch. And I look at you guys and I'm like, okay, sure. Sure, I'll come with you. And um, as you go down into the tunnel, you see the peering eyes of jaw long in the forest kicking the tree <laughs> mm. smashing into a tree just getting all the anger out <laughs> apparently even after um a whole night of walking she still has enough rageous energy in her to um keep going okay but so we're split no, well, we're right now together. jaw long is just no no i know but like me and uh, like, you... ever, is everybody going or is it just... Yeah, everyone's going yeah. into the hole. Oh. Go, yeah, no, I guess Rue, I'm going. Is Rue not going? Getting you know, I was just threatening <laughs> to it, so... Yeah. Okay, check. I was like, yeah, Can we sure. walk down the, the ladder, maybe? With the bear. Yeah. No, the, the people that don't uh, go with the bear go up the ladder. You can walk down, but you can use a ladder to go down. To, yeah. That's how you use a ladder? That's the intended yeah, usage yeah, yeah. of a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> That because I don't cool. trust him if yeah. they're... <laughs> oh, if they're... <laughs> Definitely not. No. Okay. I'm only bad at making tunnels. And at our queue, shall we take a break? So, before the break, we left off with our uh, teenagers about to descend into a basement of a uh, middle-aged lady in a cottage in the middle of the forest. Let's see how that end, ends up. Together. Man, when you put it like that. <laughs> <laughs> just a description of what you're doing right now. Uh, you're Guys, I'm getting, I'm getting second thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, down the creepy basement we're yeah, going. Into yeah. some coldest. <laughs> uh, you were... Gwotron was the first one to... Yeah, I'm going down, down with the with, bear right now. Like, with little bear. half like standing over it. Like a bear under me, but like not leaning on just earth bending. Ryu is like quietly impressed by any earth bending he sees, so he's like, oh, I've never seen that before. It's gonna be like that every time he sees earth bending. A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> How yes. dark is it down there? Huh? It's... How dark uh, is it? Down there? There's some uh, torches lit up actually. Yeah, but Ryu still has the torch and he's already down there. I don't I, have I, the I, torch, I'm inside. I'm just freestyling, just going with the torch. I don't, we're also going down. We're all going down. Yeah, sure, but I just want. Uh, well, what do you want to know? How dark it is, like, uh, 
if he's uh, down there, yeah, like, can yeah. we still see him yeah, yeah. while yeah, he's down there's there? there's torches uh, along the, um, the wall. So it's, uh, it's like dimly lit. It's not like bright as in outside in the sunlight, but you can see faces. Right. You can't see very, very far, but you can see. It's, it's dimly lit for the d and It's okay, it's not you. <laughs> <laughs> I can see anything. Mm. <laughs> Did, you, did I told you I was not color on nightlight? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Nice one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, once uh, Leah also uh, gets off the ladder, uh, she goes, so um, <clears throat> uh, just go straight ahead uh, until you uh, reach the um, a, a larger room. We'll, we'll see. Yep. And the uh, tunnel you end up in is um, just wide enough for one, 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 one and a half person, depending on the size, walking through it. And uh, Mori uh, beckons over the bear to walk beside him. And you see that the bear is getting a bit spooked. Sh- spooked. Sh- well, it's not fully comfortable, but. Um, Mori. I can imagine that. There is Mori. It's fine. I'm just kind of walking around. Like, I'm like, hmm, this is a bit weird and creepy. I'm not saying it, I'm thinking. I'm like, mm, I don't like it. And as you're walking uh, through the tunnel, there's more splits off, but you keep on going straight as instructed by Leah. And you indeed end up in a large room uh, with tables and chairs and it's a, it's a, it's a larger cavity actually a larger cavity oh. <laughs> yeah we have a dentist <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you just got into the larger cavity room uh, and there's um, people actually hanging out there and um, along one wall you see um, several chests and barrels it's it's, it's like part storage Part hanging out space, gathering like space. Hub yeah, of sorts. <laughs> a hub of sorts, indeed. Uh, and on the other edges uh, of the room, you see other tunnels leading elsewhere. Okay. I lean into to Tonrek. I don't know if you're like the closest to me. Let's assume you are right now. Just walk you're next to me. No, but like I lean on her. I'm like, do you think this is the black hands? I don't know. Wait, for the, for do, I, do, <laughs> do we see any inky hands on the wall? Man, I'm not so sure that like they're so literal with their symbology, but I'll be on the lookout. Can we... Uh, should we we're, still wa- we're still walking in, guys. Should we assess the situation? <laughs> no, I'm going to give an introduction. No, I'm going to turn to our dear friend who we came down here with and ask, so... Lady friend? Yeah, lady friend. Yeah. Like, so, um, this is not what I expected, but where do we leave the bear? Should we announce that we have a bear? Well, What's going on be here? okay, child. Is there a deal already made? Just one, just one second, child. Okay. Yeah. okay. Um, and as you uh, get closer to the tables where uh, the people are sitting, uh, Corellian goes, uh, and, and actually they react, people react to uh, her entering, and they all stand up and give a little acknowledgement that she uh, came in. Uh, and she goes, ah, thank you, go sit down. Um, so, um, interesting turn of the morning, uh, my dear comrades. Um, these kids showed up with a Platypus bear and several people go. Like, oh, <laughs> that's cute. Um, what what is the meaning of the tuna? And there's also one person in the in the um, crowd who kind of goes to the side and looks very st- well, stares at Maury, just in a manner as if they're trying to make out whether they know him or not uh, this style? Qu- quick question isn't a platypus bear like just a normal bear in our world 
What do you mean? Now, isn't it still a violent animal? So, well, yeah, Felibus bears are quite violent in the wild. And they, have to work. they can be trained because there have been people in the show who yeah. have trained them. Yes. It's also, it's a baby yeah. that has been f- raised by a human, I yes. guess. It, like, if you think of like all the friendly bears, it's all like orphan bears who are raised by one guy in Russia and not their best friends. And like, you know, there's like, yeah. there's like tear jerky videos. And they eat cigarettes. Where, like, and, they <laughs> and they eat cigarettes. Really? <laughs> 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 okay, we're gonna look that up later. Yeah. And the put in the box down <laughs> there, right down there, if it's bullshit or not. That's what no, Russian people a, do, they eat cigarettes. No, there's a police bear that got, uh, I don't know what happened, but they, it went up, ended up on the allied side. And he, they used him uh, to carry uh, artillery shield. And he and ate he, cigarettes? Yes, specifically lit cigarette, cigarettes. If it was unlit, he well, didn't eat serious? it. Well, you're serious? Yeah. I thought you were joking. <laughs> I'm never a joking. History major? You don't yeah. make jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finishing on ancient history, so no. Cool. Um, we learned so many new things. <clears throat> and um, the more you know. After um, announcing this, <laughs> uh, Cornelian uh, turns herself towards you all. Uh, and says, um, welcome to, um, the group, the, uh, little resistance group. I think you already had your suspicions if I heard it through your wording. Well, it's just this old man who, yeah, I think you have your husband to thank for that. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Uh, he can be a bit of a tattletale when he's. Uh, he was persuaded by some drink. I just hope it doesn't end up biting you guys in the ass. That's okay. Well, um, we are uh, a group of. Well, not all of us are farmers, but the majority is. Uh, we are called um, the Geto. Also, yeah, the Black Hands sometimes. <gasps> Ghetto. 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 That's actually meaning behind the word. Oh, okay. Easily enough. And the meaning is? Well, yeah. Uh, we are the fertile grounds. We are the black dirt. Um, oh, the kind of black hands. Hmm? What? Because well, in the dirt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. <laughs> we are the fertile grounds upon we hope that the uh, Earth Kingdom will grow and well, be fruitful once more. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. Um, we're um, quite a small group, but still we are very glad and well, proud of the things we've done so far. We try to help the communities, the farming communities, and and through my husband we um, get to know people, and people get to know us, and we get help, and we give help. Okay, I think you guys are the first people to head to the bear. Then. You want to buy a bear? <laughs> I think we're already on, we're already on that stage. Um. Well, we need the food, right? Like, so we. I go, what was the guy's name again? Uh, the one for Mori. I'm like, Mori, do you maybe want to explain why we have a bear and why we need food? Because she has bears, if you have I think we already explained that. Did we? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda, but um, oh, if you really want me to do that, guy, that's uh, I don't know. I can do that. Yeah. And, um, a bit timidly, um, Mori uh, s- steps in front of like, um, waves awkwardly. I, hi all, um, my name's Mori. I, um, I uh, moved to, um, <laughs> the Guardians of Farming community uh, a few years ago. 
Um, and I've been sober for. <laughs> <laughs> and my problem is that I find eggs in the forest. <laughs> and then. <laughs> He's a kleptoman. Egomaniac. Egomaniac. No, kleptomaniac. He no, he's in, he likes eggs. <laughs> we don't know what he does with them. <laughs> We've only seen the one egg. Egomania. He, he is the father. <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> so he fucked the platypus bear. <laughs> yes. What happened to the mom? Or just the egg. Well, that was... That you was don't want to know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Disturbing. Okay, never mind. I didn't ask anything. To... That derailed so fast. A GM needs. Uh, <laughs> I think the GM needs something stronger. Stronger than just straight up whiskey. It's already quite strong. Yes, speed is the Belsky. Tasty. Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, um, I kind of found an egg. Wasn't sure what it was. It was larger than, like, you know, a chicken egg or, um... How big are your chickens? It was larger than a chicken <laughs> egg. Quite, quite, <laughs> quite larger. Quite larger. Also larger than those, um, you know, those weird ducks someone else has in the village. You know, um, around the size of Plattenburg. <laughs> and well, this thing ended, ended up coming out of it, and he points towards scene, and well, he, um, he's been growing ever since, and you know, growing kids, they uh, require food, so I kind of started taking food out of the tribute cellar and these kids found out for the village elder and that's where we are right now they want to trade off my 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 little my little bear for yeah for food from you guys and that's about the whole story so yeah there we are and he um pets the father's bear on the head and goes on. Yeah, that's where we are. Does he already have the insight that it's very, very soft? Hmm? Does yeah, he, he, not, he that, fed, Does he, he already have the knowledge that yeah, it's very soft? Yeah, because he, he, he is his parent. He hand raised it. Yeah. <laughs> he fed it with his own bit. <laughs> Get the baby. <laughs> oh, okay, no. Oh. <laughs> Do they know also about the Fire Nation coming in like in a day and federations and oh, the missing yeah. shit? By the way, guys, um, that like food, that, that food, might be important to that mention. Food that he stole, uh, the Fire Nation is kind of coming to the village for you know their usual theft in uh, tribute a day. So it's kind of urgent, I'd say. So do um, you guys want to buy a platypus bear? There's some <laughs> murmurs in the group. Um, you can't really uh, make out what they're saying exactly uh, because there, are, you know, there's several conversations going on, um, and after a few minutes, uh, Cornelian shushes them down. So, uh, do you have any uh, propositions in how much you need? Because then we have a number we can work with. Mori, how much food did you steal? Well, um, it was quite empty, so... I think we need a... How much food do the Fire Nation even ask in these parts? Yeah, actually... Well, what's the tribute that they ask? Maybe we should have... Actually, I have a meta question. Wouldn't, oh, wouldn't Ryu know this thing? No, things? because she didn't know about the uh, tributes. Mm, no, okay, fair you enough. Are, uh, True. You were of the Navy. Yeah, right. Another another meta question. Would Ryu know of rebel groups in the area that he was dispatched in? Wouldn't he get some kind of preparation if about he, the general geography? If he geography? doesn't know about the struggles of the Earth. I don't Kingdom. think he would have been told. I think he just really would just think that everything is fine in the Earth Kingdom ponies. It's just the Fire Nation is there and people are happy to have the Fire Nation there. 
But wouldn't it be also pretty weird? A soldier doesn't know. <laughs> the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, like a soldier. Like a soldier. I think. No, he was a soldier. Like, he but like in the navy, you know. Mm, so Mostly. you would have gotten a briefing about a resistance group. Mm-hmm. Uh, Definitely misrepresented as like scary, evil terrorist types. Yes, and but wouldn't I know names and shit? Down very scarily oh, by they... the name of the armadillo bears, mm-hmm. which is not who these people are. Okay, so I wouldn't yeah. know these people slash have, no. have any preconceived notions of them. Usually they have like intelligence packs, and then some are made like uh, you need these, and some are like optional. Mm. If you're like really studious, you you do the optionals as well. But you know, you know at least something of the area if you're a soldier. I yeah. Mean, and then you can decide whether you're like a soldier that reads everything it's or just does the the necessary. Are you from the navy, so probably yeah, so you right have land. just a short briefing yeah. on it. They would have short information. Okay, okay. What was the name of the ones that I would know? Sure. <coughs> your little bears. Sure. I'm a little sure. I'm a little bears. I'm a little bears. Okay. Meta gaming over. <laughs> Some background. Um, and uh, one of the um, people in the crowd pops up and says, "Well, from our village, they um, tend to take like every month. They come around. Oh no, yeah, every half month they come around for." Two sacks of flour and, and some fresh stuff as well. Does it differ per village? Mm, and another head pops up and goes, Oh, for most they take uh, five sacks. Okay, uh, is there by chance a man here named Tao? He was the son of a hunter. I just mostly just yell this to the room. Just, is there a man named Tao here? Tao? What is the name of the village again? Oh, the village that we're helping. What was the name of it? Yeah, but Tao Tanjin is the son of the. Tanjin? Kanjin. Tanjin. Kanjin. 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 But Tao was the name of the son of the mayor, wasn't it? The mayor. No. The elder. The, the, the uh, hunter, uh, whoever it was from the, the village hunter. that... Uh, Is there somebody here from Kensington, Can- uh, the son of the hunter? It's no. about six hours away from you, again. His Gen-Jing-Z. name was Tao, I believe. And um, we need to be back there by tomorrow with the provisions. If anybody knows. <laughs> when you uh, say the name of the village with the hunter as well, um... Leah... The lady kind of looks a bit sad. Oh, um, you you, um, you mean mean cow? Seems cow. Probably, yeah. yeah. Mm, he was um taken away. Oh, no. fuck. Um, Where? 